In this section we're going to be talking about the extrude command, which is found here. There's several different flavors of this. What all of them are going to do is take a curve that you have made and pull it into a shape. I'll just start with a basic curve. I'll leave it open. Extrude curve straight. Here as you can see in my perspective window you can really see what's going on. The closer my mouse is to the curve the smaller the extrusion. I left click when I'm finished. Shaded preview. As you can see it turns it into a solid shape or a simple surface. I'll highlight it. There are a few other things we can do here. To point, that will do the same thing. As you can see in this case, it extrudes it to a point, but though it looks three-dimensional when I rotate, you can see that it is actually two-dimensional. So let's try that one more time. Two point. Now if I move into my front or right perspective, I'm actually doing it in three dimensions. I need to use the viewport perpendicular to my original curve. So we'll delete that. Now I can actually also extrude a curve along another curve. So let's create another curve here, just something sort of simple. I'll put it over here. Now let's try this. As you can see our curve is kind of intersecting our other curve, or going around it, which is right where we want it. Extrude curve, along curve. Select path curve. This has done something pretty funky. Let's take a look. So you can see it's more or less followed the shape of our curve, but it's offset. Now I could move that to the end of our curve, and let's try that again. I want to make sure to have only one curve selected, the one that I want to extrude along the other. Then I select the other after using the tool, and now it's stuck more or less to our shape. Now I could also use a closed curve here, surface extrude along curve. As you can see, it does sort of a strange squashing phenomenon along here. The extrude curve tool will not work if this curve is closed. And to close that curve, quickly, I'm just going to demonstrate for you, I'll turn on my point snap, I'll grab this point, drop it right on top of that other point. That automatically means we now have a closed curve. Now if I were to draw a shape, surface, extrude curve, along curve, path curve cannot be closed. Now does that mean it's impossible to make a shape like that? Of course not. That's just a, it's a different tool, basically. It's sweep one rail. Not real pretty, but uh, the sweep command is covered closely in a different section. If we go back to our surface menu, I also have ribbon and tapered. So let's try ribbon. Through point, it wants me to pick a through point. We'll click there. Now let's take a look. Created sort of a ribbon type shape. Now let's try that again. Ribbon. I can also pick in a different direction here. And this time, 
it's created a little ribbon that goes up and down. And finally, tapered. Let's see what this is going to do for us. Well, just as it says, tapered. It's smaller at the top where the original curve is than it is at the bottom. So as you can see, the extrude curve tool can be implemented in many different ways.